one gets around the, away from it without no uh, no one's get hurt. No one's gonna get hurt if you get me a car okay. here in seven minutes. I need a truck. I got three guys here. Three guys. Um, I'm not even the one running the show. So we don't want to hurt nobody, but we'll start we'll start hurting people here. I need that car in seven minutes or she dies. Am I supposed to um... seven minutes or she dies? Is this one of your guys? Hello, uh, who am I? Yes, yes, what? he's uh he he's not the leader though. So not the leader? He doesn't know what's going on right now. Okay. Look here, you know what? It must be really nice to be sitting over there in your office having a nine to five. You know, you don't know how much I struggled. So you better get me a car here in six minutes or she dies. Been through a lot, man. It sounds like you've been through a lot. How did you um how did you find yourself in this position? God damn it, got bills. You know, I can't get a job. I got a face tattoo. Uh -huh. Who's going to hire somebody with a tattoo on their face, man? I had to join gangs to survive. I bet you had a nice life. A little nine to five insurance. But it feels good, doesn't it? And you're, and you're disappointed. You're frustrated with this. Mm -hmm. How the way things just turn out. I mean, and here you are, you're finding yourself in a bank with hostages. That's uh no one's no one's gonna be uh you can't even you can't even find your damn words. You better get me a car here in five minutes. Yeah, put me on, is, put me on the phone, one. put me on the phone with somebody that can get me a car here in five minutes. I don't want to hurt any of these people. I got a family myself. You have family? Oh. What if you if you were if your family would be here listening to you? What, what what do you think they would say? Well, you better not call. You better not call her. She would not be happy. I told her I'm going to get out, and be a change man. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to take care of them. So it I had to do this. Like I had no choice. You listening? Sounds like you. Yeah. No choice. You got four minutes to get me a car. She dies. Sounds like you in a tough position right now. And you're the kind of person who taking pride in taking care of family. Yeah. I want the best for them. And that's why I need a car here. Because if I don't get out of here, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to. If I go to jail, I at least want to make sure I see them. That's what I really care. All right. How do we make this sure? money's for them, man? How do we make sure that you see another day and see your family? <sighs> Tell you what, I'll split half of this with you. You can help out your family. I definitely help out my family. Can you can you do that for me? You seem like a nice guy. Can you just get me a truck here in two minutes. It sounds like you you got a plan. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna take care of my family with this. I'm gonna get into some hobbies, maybe video editing, maybe a syndicating real estate. Any criminal can do that. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll do something with this money. So help how do me. I make sure? How do I make sure that you uh, you're gonna be safe? in the next two, three, three minutes. Well, to all these cops, they don't get any closer. I can see them from here. I, I see them, I see them stacking. I was in the military. I know what's going on. I don't want any trouble. I don't want to hurt anybody here, but I just might, she just might die, okay? If you don't get me a car in two minutes. Well, I mean, man, you, you know, you're in a tough position and uh, I want to help you. I want to make sure that you see another day. Oh, man. Can't you see it? Just, 
can't can you see them getting close to the building? Can you just tell them back off? I am trying to get out of here alive. Can you um, can you take me back to uh, to this morning before it all went to shit? Shh, man, it's just like any other morning, complaining. And I had this idea. Why not just rob a bank? I got some friends. Uh, they kind of didn't know about the the robbery. Uh, kind of just threw them in here last minute. I told them up. Uh, I told them something else. So, you know, they kind of don't really, but they're helping me because we got a lot of money here. So it's, this is our opportunity. Uh, this is going to so change you're responsible. Life. You're responsible for a lot of lives there. Yeah, my friends and these hostages, uh, my friends are, are they're, they're, they're getting paranoid. They said they didn't sign up for this. No, no. Because they see the cops. So, what can you do for me? Well, how do we make sure that, you know, everyone gets out safely? No one will get hurt, all right? Just, uh, can you just make sure they don't shoot me? I want, uh, I want to at least get to see my kids from jail. Well, I can promise you that no one's gonna shoot you today. Okay, good. No one's going to hurt you so that you can see the family again. No one have to get hurt. No, I don't want to hurt anybody. I just, I just want to get the money and help out my family. I know they got families too. And yeah, and listen, my guys here, they didn't know about this. Okay. So uh, can you guys go easy on him, on them? I can promise you that no one's going to get hurt today. All right, what, I'm coming out. What, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was it? That was interesting. No that one was died. Interesting. What were you feeling, man, while you're still fresh? Well, it took me a while to get into the role, like because it was totally expromptu. Like I just pressed the, the video button and then we uh then we so started happens, off. Um so happened when you show up early. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I mean that was um at some point I felt like, yeah, what 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 do I uh what do I put a focus on? Right? What do I make sure that you keep in your mind to help you calm down and help you see it clearly? rather than from position of frustration, you know, upset and, and, you know, being in the corner. Do you feel like that's something that was more or less achieved? Um, you, I mean, you, you want destructive feedback or constructive? Destructive and then constructive. All right. Um, I, I didn't feel warmth in your tone. And... And I know that because on the other other role plays I done, I stopped talking about the the timer. Um, but then again, maybe because I done it, I don't know what. But uh, I typically don't. I wasn't feeling a connection, so that's why I was just like, oh, just uh, I thought maybe I can get the car. Uh, but then towards the end, I say towards the three minute part, uh, here's a constructive. That's where you really started building that uh report right yeah that's where i felt the report towards the end um i even and, i even and talked when you over said you. report can you remember like what oh what when you, you did this you, 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 you did a summary uh right after i it's, uh, it was towards the uh the three minute that's when i had three minutes left you threw in a summary and i think that really uh got me off the the timer can't even recall was so deep into the trenches don't yeah, remember yeah, that, what no, was that. We, we have observers <laughs> uh eli was a was, was one of your cronies or one of my cronies uh eli what did you step into do you even know what's going on uh some feedback some some feedback <clears throat> uh okay uh this this is a uh, bank robbery or i don't know yeah i'm the bank robber uh, bank robbers. 
So you're you're a bank robber, and Eugene was the negotiator. Yep. Uh, but it looks interesting. Um, we need to try <laughs> uh, more possible scenarios. Yeah, changing it up today uh, from some Facebook yeah. posts. Yeah, I was hoping more people would show up. Uh, I mean, I think it went out to 2,000 people. It's a Saturday. What else is there better to do? Just to, to, to uh, rescue the hostages, right? What could be a, what, yeah. what could be a better way to spend Sunday or Friday? Yeah, what is rescue, Saturday morning? you want to rescue a hostage? Uh, so any, any feedback, Eli? What do you think? You think, uh, think you did good? Do you recognize any tools? Anything? Uh, uh, it, 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 this is the first time, you know, to to try this uh, yeah. uh, role play. And uh, uh, in my opinion, we we need to to go on with the with the practice, and uh, uh, it will become easier. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, I'm, ta time. I'm talking about this scenario that just happened. What did you think of Eugene's use of skills and tone? Yeah, sure. Was he rude? He used skills, obviously tools. Uh, uh, it was okay. Yeah. I, I cannot add anything uh, for the first time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Doug, Douglas, keep calling you Doug. I don't know why. I, don't, I never even met a Doug in my life. How dare you, sir? It's the TV show, <laughs> King of Queens. The, the, I think I think he's getting softer and softer each time you do that, uh, Dan. So. No, <laughs> the, the male actor from King of Queens is Doug, and it's one of my favorite uh, characters. Uh, that's why. Now I see. I think I've ever seen that show. Oh, you got yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a waste of time. Yeah, it's all right. It, um, any feedback on for Eugene's? sure I thought overall Eugene did pretty well I think the I do agree that the report never really kind of seemed to click but that's you know in, in this scenario I think it's harder uh, to, you can't I mean the guy is really like torque I mean he's really under pressure it's really hard to build rapport out of the gate here and, and I think that's what's great about the scenario I hadn't really thought about that but um but he went right in with labeling and it just goes to show how powerful labels were because his labels eventually got you there. Uh, almost yeah. all just based on labels and uh, a summary, I think I caught in there for sure. That was um, a turning point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It really and, hit me. And it, it, it uh, de-escalated the entire thing just on the back of uh, good use of labels. And, and I thought the Eugene's tone and pace was good too. Um, so overall, I thought, thought I did excellent. It's you know, really, um, got, got you spilling beans for the, almost the entire conversation was almost all, uh, yeah, we talked more. Yeah. 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 It was almost all, all you spilling beans and that's so the scenario, I think. Excellent. Yeah. Got the question. Like, and of course we're talking about report and this is something that I want to work on. Um, that that's my sticking point. Hmm. I'm, I'm not really sure how to do that. Like in these scenarios, like when we just started doing negotiations, pretend you care like, about the person. Yeah. Pretend you don't have to. Uh, these guys how, write all over the books. Uh, yeah. well, the best example was a hostage uh, taker is in a bathroom, and he's got um, a, a, a baby or a child. Uh, he pushed the mother into the train tracks, and then he locked himself in the bathroom with this kid. And the negotiators got there and were like, what's going on here? And he says, oh, the, the mom's a demon. Um, I, I can see demons and angels. He was like a homeless guy just off his meds or something. And he's like, and the mom's a demon. And, and this kid's an angel. And I want to I save her from that demon mother. And so the negotiator goes, oh, you're like a savior. And you want to save good, good people, good children. He goes, yeah, that's right. Then, he, then they say, uh, well, if 
you bring her out, we'll make sure she goes, you know, with people that are angels and you can, you know, you can verify or you can whatever. And he's like, okay, and lets her out. But yeah, he did not uh, totally, he said in that moment, he, he disagreed with the guy's behavior completely. And if it wasn't for him acting like he actually cared about him and his justification and his reasoning and drivers that he can see good and bad without focus on, you know, you just push the lady into a train and kidnap the kid. Dumbass. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what, uh, Chodin posted. Like, yeah. Um, more of that positive stuff, whatever, and don't insult. I can't remember exactly what he said or wrote. Yeah, I think that, yeah, I, I think that's a tactical empathy at its core is is getting into their world and, and like when they say something outrageous and in like something you don't agree with, and this is my oh, I'm used to be really, really bad at this. When somebody would say something I completely disagree with, like in that scenario, it's like you know, completely like the judgmental part. So removing the judgmental mm -hmm. part and, and kind of saying, oh, I, and looking at their positive intention, even though it's mm -hmm. messed up in, in this circumstance, he saw the positive intention, which I think is excellent. Uh, so there, behind that, there is a great theory on that that says every behavior is driven by some positive intention. Now, it's not necessarily. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So overall, because. Yeah. But then was uh, saying like I'm I'm not even the main guy here, yeah. right? So you know there's all this group of people. So then when he starts spilling the beans and saying, you know, I have the other guys here, you know, and I ask you, can mm -hmm. you take me through your morning? It was a normal morning. It was okay. And then I decided to rob the bank, and then I involved my friends, and now I'm in this mess. I guess at that point it kind of started to. This is the report building part, right? Yeah, yeah, and I think that's what I would say is when somebody's that elevated, I don't know that rapport is really the the goal because when they're that out of out of whack, um, the, mm. I think that's why you have to diffuse emotion first, and then the rapport will, will happen as a process. And we saw that as as the time was going, you were getting mm -hmm. you were getting there by the time the by the mm -hmm. end, there was you know definitely a working relationship there in a collaborative uh, environment. So I. Again, I, I think that's that's the, the tough part in, in something like that. Cool. And this context is based on uh, the situation in Derek Gunn's book, Ego Authority Failure. Uh, so when you hear it or read it, you'd be like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that was the role play. Uh, you, uh, Florin, so, you, so this you, is you, a yeah, go ahead. this is a longer version of 60 seconds or she dies, right? Yes, 10 minutes <laughs> or she dies. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, copyright reasons, right? <laughs> and, and I've seen that in another practice mock. Uh, they agree that 60 seconds is unrealistic. And sometimes uh, on a real practice with Black Swan Group, they they do t uh, 10 minutes or she dies. Well, yeah. Awesome. If you, uh, if you pay them big money. I think I think Alberta, I saw this role play, Alberto. Yeah, uh, he's done, done it. It's that are gone. Yeah. And oh. I think at some point... At some point, Alberta gave up and it's like, you know, what do I need to do? Like, literally gave up. And, no and way. Glenn Gunn was keep keep pushing him. So he had to get back into the role. And <laughs> didn't stay in the pocket. Yeah, you stayed in the pocket. I, I tried talking over you. I tried insulting you. I even took cheap shots, called you a nice guy. I was really trying to trigger you hard. And Were you triggered at all? How did you overcome You know what? In my head, it was like, okay, where do I, uh, where do I move this? How do I move it there? Right, so I was asking you how am I how am I supposed to do this and that, so you could potentially give me more uh, information to to use with you. So that was not triggering for me because the options were very limited. Like in my mind, I have to make sure that you get out of there safe and alive. That's it. There's no other options. So whatever you yeah, were there... saying to me or at me, it, it it's just what well, I so measure here, it emotionally. Here's the twisted part. Here's the twisted part. Uh, yeah, you're caring too much about the results. Being a nice guy, people get out safe. It's not what it's about. It's just about really getting to know them as a golden individual. And at the end, the hostage dies. And so that's kind of like gym camp where, you know, you remove that neediness of really trying to save them. You just want to connect. Mm -hmm. uh, you just want to, and you did connect um, towards the end. I think after you, you were like, Oh, you know what? He's not that bad of a guy. 
you know, he's he's gone through some stuff and he just had a bad day. Uh, and then, yeah, you, you then you got focused on me. Then you gave me a summary. And that's where the connection really, I'll be like, all right, uh, this guy gets me. He's not judging me. He heard, he listened to me. So an exchange, like coffee shop, an exchange for feeling heard, seen, um, I'll give you free coffee. All right, yeah, yeah, release the hostages. Can I see, at least see my kids? Uh, Florin, you got any feedback? Or uh, Eugene, you want to speak on that? I'm not saying I know more, uh, just from the, from what I put together from all the books. Honestly, the feedback, I think, is it's it's fine. Uh, I think the most important is actually going through the motion and get the experience because it's an intense experience for 10 minutes, whatever, five, 10 minutes, yeah. or, you know, five minutes or she dies or whatnot. So that's an intense experience in itself. And at first, I think the hostage taker has an advantage in a sense because he uh, there is a lot of energy supposed to be coming off him and that will dry up a lot of negotiators. So... It's it's job of a negotiator to take again uh, control of emotional dynamic and then slowly start building that that rapport that you know deeper empathy and then you're gonna have some uh, behavioral change right so yeah, yeah I mean good uh, uh, for me for, it was yeah. uh, was interesting to see Eugene less confident than usually <laughs> let's put it this yes. way because he was looking left and right and uh was for the first time when i saw him he was great really he was great uh, you need to be to uh uncertain please in that situation uh, you if you're Finish certain your sentence. no worries the hostage will die i don't want to if interrupt you're you i mean if you want to say something No, uh, no, please, please. Come yes. on, Eli, 60 seconds or she dies. What do you got to say? Eugene was great. I mean, it's your turn. He's, Just please. He's they done great. Your he has done great. Yes. Uh, to Eugene or Daniel? And Eugene and Daniel. Yeah. Oh, love it. Uh, <laughs> and like Saturday exchanging, morning. <laughs> Saturday morning exchanging medicine. <laughs> oh. Okay, what so, I was about to say is, yeah. uh, sorry, Ilya. No. Was... Sorry, <laughs> sorry, my fault. No, I no, I'm just messing with you. Uh, what I was to, about to say, uh, the scenario where uh, the hostage taker is quite desperate, it seems easy to me. Uh, mm. Probably because I tend to deal better with desperate people, I understand them, and so on. On the other side, I have hard time dealing with freaks and people who don't want to talk too much or if they are hard on me. But on the other side, yeah, like I said, uh, this type of uh, character where he's desperate, I could understand him. I can't understand the other side, uh, the other type, like I previously said. This this is my uh, my problem too. When when you're talking to a wall. You know, how do you start taking out this brick by bricks before it, it kind of falls the wall? And this this is what got me um, when I had the assessment with the NAPQ trainers uh, role play. And he was just literally a wall, drywall. No matter what I ask him, it will it will just falling on the deaf ears. But then again, I was just using the process. So uh, and he said, like, you need to build report, report, report. Um, but it's hard. Yeah, when, when someone is dry, it's not much to go on off, right? So it's pretty much labels and summaries, labels and summaries. That's how I'm seeing it right now. Calibrated That's questions. what I want to practice. That didn't work then. So calibrated questions only would work if you have some sort of report so they can give it back to you, like feed it back to you yeah. whenever you ask. Uh, you know, Shodan did so good yesterday and asked, and I'm like, I was reading back all the tools he was using. I'm like, dude, you were doing like the shadow box thing that we would do a while ago, uh, where you just go that like, uh, label, label, mirror, sometimes mirror, mirror, label, mirror, mirror, label, dynamic silence, dynamic silence. And then, yeah, accusation audit, calibrated question. Yeah, after you mirrored and labeled and dynamic silence. And you did great with dynamic silence. I was spilling beans. 
Uh, yeah, but the report, I didn't, you know, I, I kept talking about the timer. It's hard to build that report with someone that you're trying to get them to save lives and you're so focused on saving lives. And it's like, no, just focus on, on the counterpart. Uh, yeah. Because the, the other time I was just like, I was like, damn, I got so focused about me getting out. <laughs> uh, then that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Uh, Freddie, that's uh, why you're still fresh. Um, you want to be a hostage taker or a negotiator? Um, I can be first. Uh, I can be negotiating the second time. Let, let me just understand what's going on. I can be the, the, the which one do you say? I'm sorry. All right, uh, you're gonna be the negotiator, and Doug Douglas, you want to be a hostage taker this time? Oh, I'd love to. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Um, so can. Can you just take your headset off and I'll give you a thumbs up, uh, Douglas. All right, Freddie. Um, so you're going to be, wait, you're going to be the negotiator. Oh, I'm sorry. The other way around. I'm going to tell Douglas, we're going to talk about some black swans for you to uncover. And so that way it doesn't go stale. Like there's some context and essentially he's holding a bank. He's, he just robbed it. He's got the bags of money. He's got some hostages. And he's got three, three other people, friends. They didn't really know he was going to rob the bank. It just, he just did it out of nowhere. He just felt like doing it. Cause, um, but this is where I'll tell the black swans to Douglas. All right. So you, you're going to have to take your, um, you're going to turn the mic, the speaker off for like a minute. Doug, Douglas. Yeah. Uh, hey, can you hear me? Yeah. So, totally messed up. Uh, he's a negotiator. You're the hostage yeah. taker. Uh, so far, the only beans he knows is that the three guys with you kind of didn't really know about it. And you just, you got the money right now. Right. You got some hostages. Uh, what, what drove you to rob this bank today? Um, I'm a, uh, a white, white, sep white nationalist separatist. Oh, okay. We need money for our guns. Okay, and uh, what do you? What, what are your drivers? What are your passions in life? Uh, white power, man. We need to and, be. We need to be recognized as an independent nation. Succeed from the union, man. And let's see. And if you were in, what would be what would be worse if you were dead or in in prison with white nationalists? Oh, man. I got plenty of friends in jail, man. All right. So in this scenario, you want to live. Uh, your friends didn't know about this. They're probably not even as racist as you. They just right. they had no clue. Uh, and you got to support the uh, the group. And also, you, you have, uh, again, you have kids and a wife. Right. In a, tra in a trailer park, and you want to get a real house. Is that, or is that, or are you kind of like, well, yeah, that makes sense. I just sense need money for guns. I'm, I'm trying to support my cause. I don't really care about my family. And you've been in and out of jail. Um, you don't know how to operate in the real world. It's really, it's really because of all those, all those ethnic <laughs> groups are the reason why I went to jail. Not the fact I had a, a, let's a, stick with a the... 17 pounds of, of, of heroin. No, let, let, let's just stick with the old Derek Gaunt uh, scenario. He can be a minority. <laughs> like, as far as I know, what his white supremacist over there. Oh, like, that's what, good. That's a good thing you don't know what I mean. Yeah, so we, let's, let's keep it easy, uh, Derek. Right. Um, you, you just you always had the shit end of the stick, right? Um, right. You joined gangs, went to jail, got out, had a kid. Um, you can't get a job because you got a face tat in jail because you're a gang. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And you do want to take care of your, your wife and kids. Douglas, if you feel like you can involve me too, if there is some sort of a 
situation that, that that would warrant that. Yeah. Eugene had nothing to do with it. He, he, he didn't know you were robbing a bank, but he's like, well, you're my boy, so I guess this is what we do. Yeah. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. Freddie, can you hear us? Yes. yes. All right, so whenever you're ready to ring up the hostage taker, okay. you are the negotiator. Good. Rin Rin. I need a car in 60 seconds or she dies. I'm sorry. Uh, who is this? Don't worry about who this is, man. You want to find out with a dead body? Is that what you want to do? Um, I'm just trying to understand. Uh, what is your name? My name is Freddy, by the way. Freddy, don't worry about my name. I need a car in 60 seconds. Are you deaf or something? You're not hearing me? No, I understand you, you, you want a car. Um, so tell me what, what's going on. What's going on is I need out of here, man. I need a car right now. Uh -huh. I need you cops to back up. You, you, you seem very uh, upset. Everything, everything good? Right, everything will be good when uh -huh. I get my car. You're not listening to me. I want a car in 60 seconds. Oh, you know what? 40 seconds, man. You've got 40 seconds or she's going to die. Do you want that? Do you want blood on your hands? Who is she? Bank teller, man. The bank manager's here. And tell you what, the way things are going, Freddie, every minute that you delay, I'm going to start doing this. Every five minutes, I'm going to sh shoot someone and, and throw their body out the bank. So do you, intend, do you intend to kill all the hostage? You know, I don't want to do that. But Freddie, you're not making my job easy over here, man. Just give me my car and I'll get out of here. I'll be out of here and, you, and we won't worry about this. Sure, I, I'm just trying to understand this. I, I, I get that you want a car. Um, but it seems like you don't want to kill the hostage. Uh, is that your intent, or what are you planning to do? Freddie, we're just we're just wasting time here, man. You you just not you're not getting it. You're not understanding me here. You give me a car, all this goes away. Everything is fine. Sure. Uh, well, I'm what I'm trying to uh, uh, arrange the car. Uh, please tell me, what, what is your name? Well, how am I supposed to call you back? Don't worry about my name, man. What does that have to do with anything? How does that help me get a car here in the bank? So I'm going to check uh, if I can get you the you're car. Gonna and check I will... my, you're going to check my driver's license or something, making sure I have insurance? What are we doing here? We, we're talking, I'm trying to facilitate you and making sure everyone um, get out safe. So uh, so you want a car, correct? Um, do, you, do you have more than one person who will use the car or it's just for you? Hello? Freddie. Yes. Are you new? Are you new at this? It I depends. need a car. Mm -hmm. 20 seconds. I'm getting tired of just spinning my wheels here with you. What? is going on. What are you going to do for me to get this going? I'll try to help everyone. I request a car while we're waiting. I'm just trying to understand what else I can assist you with. Freddie, you can so, assist me by getting yes. the cops to back up and get off my case. Mm -hmm. So are you afraid that they might break into the bank and why would i think that freddie 
I don't think that's a smart move to you if you guys come breaching in here because I'm just going to shoot everybody. So you want to have a, uh, a little more space? <sighs> Freddy, space. That's all I want, man. Just want to get out of here, okay? You seem very worried. Well, this didn't exactly go go according to plan, did it, Freddie? What was your what was your initial plan? Daddy. We got a target. I'm negotiating right now. Daddy. Daddy. Okay, go get there. Sorry, that was my daughter. So, so tell me, uh, it, it sounds like you have it, kids, it, man. I have two kids. What about you? Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, I got a little baby on the way. And Got a two-year-old, man. Two-year-old. What's what's his or her name? Uh, it's it's George, and Georgina is on the way. Oh, congrats, congrats! So it seemed like today it was it's not a good day. This isn't how I wanted this to go. No. Is no what I. We, we expect it to go. Seems like there's more. My friend, you're, 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 you're a family man, right? So look, let's just make this easy. Just give me my car, man. That's all I want. Yeah, I talked to some people to see if they can facilitate. Uh, and now, uh, my... so facilitate? What does that mean, Freddie? Facilitate. That's a big college boy word what, what do you mean by that you that know how... it's pretty simple get car drive car park car that's facilitate is that what you mean i don't i don't know it didn't sound like that's what you meant by facilitate to me facilitate sounded like just another word for delay and not give me what i want sure um if it was for me, I, I, I probably can get you a car, but there is a lot of process that we have to go through. So, so you've got like 17 cars out there and I can see from right now and you can't give me one of them. It's not that easy, but- No, um, it is that easy, Freddie. It's just, you're just lying to me. You're not telling, you're not ever gonna give me a car, are you? Seems like you don't trust me. Hey, Freddie, I, I mean, look, I don't know you. Mm-hmm. Why would I trust a cop? The last thing I want to do is trust a cop, right? How do you think I went to jail the first time? I trusted a cop and look what it did for me. So you, you, you got in trouble before? No, oh, Freddie, we don't need to go into that, do we now? Does normally a law abiding citizen decide, wake up one day, hey, you know what? I'll go rob a bank just out of, out of, out of left field. Come on, mm -hmm. Come on. It seemed like you didn't intend to rob the bank. Oh, no, I did. This has been a plan for months. So what happened? What went wrong? Mm -hmm. Somebody tripped that alarm just a little faster than I expected. So, yeah, that plan that didn't work out so good. So it seems like you just wanted to take money. You didn't want to hurt anyone. You know what? It, it's just like, okay, am I going to be like one of these corporate CEOs and take money legally? No, that didn't work out for me. So, you know, these guys that get paid seven to one or 10 to one or, or 50 to one, Bezos case, or like a million to one. Tell me how that's fair, Freddie. Yeah, I feel like it, people are getting paid huge and amount of money what, wouldn't that mean i'd be getting I got, me getting paid doesn't that mean i have I'm able to get a job no i was referring that to the ceos they get um, paid a lot of money for work that probably you can do it so i can do it right ha huh. you think they're gonna <laughs> let me do that out of jail my track record no I don't know, but uh, I met a lot of successful people. It's not a lot of, but there are some. So you, you, you seem like you- How am I supposed to do that, Freddie? You're, you're telling me the story about being successful. How am I supposed to be successful when they won't, no way will even give me a job? Mm 
Right. You got a good point. I'm open to suggestion, Freddie. Because obviously my best plan was rank, rob a bank this morning. And obviously I wasn't seeing it. I would I would be very frustrated knowing that plans didn't go out according to the plan, especially now that you have a family. Did, yeah. did you talk to them already? All the time. My old lady, she's just going out of her mind. She's working hard, you know. She's got a good job. And she's working, but do you, you know, know how does that feel? How does that feel, Freddie, when you're when you're when your girl's making, you know. 50, 50, 60,000, and I can't even get a job. You know how that feels, Freddie? You know how emasculating that is? Yes, I, I can. I know how it feels. I'm supposed to be the provider and the protector. Seems like life hasn't treated you well. I don't know, man. Bad break after bad break, it seems. Started behind and stayed behind. So, do we, uh, um, does your family know the, the situation? No, she's gonna she's gonna kill me. You prefer that? You prefer if she doesn't know about the situation? Oh, I'm sure she's gonna know now. I see how she's gonna avoid it. This is probably it for us. I was on my last leg anyway. Mm -hmm. We're probably over after this. I don't don't see that working out. How would you like to how would you like to finish this bad day? Tell you what, Freddie. You've been fairly straight with me, other than this whole facilitate word, facilitate. Ah, but aside from that, you're shooting me straight here. I'm sorry, I still don't, I don't, don't have your name. I'm, it, it, it. I'm Douglas. Douglas. Okay, Douglas. Um, I'll, be on, I'll be honest with you. I just talked to my colleagues. There's no way we can get your car. Um, is no ask, there's uh, the, the police outside and they won't allow us to get any car. So what, what else do you want me to do for you? Freddie, I want you to tell me a way out of the situation. I mean, generally, can you tell me one plan? Because I have applied online. I've gone to stores, I've gone in person. Nothing is working out. So after I go do my jail time after this, and I go back to grad school, if you will. Sure. Um, listen, things are bad, obviously. But they, they, it's not the end of the world. You haven't killed anyone. Everyone is safe. That's right. Uh, I'm sure they, uh, they're going to say that. Hey, hey, man, do me a favor. Can I send Eugene out? Eugene, come here, man. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, to go. How, how, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, Freddie, Eugene, please do me a favor. I'm going to send Eugene out. He did not do anything. He didn't know I was going to do this today. I just told him I needed somebody to go with me to the bank. Um, it's not, it's not my fault. It, it it's not my fault. They didn't know anything. It isn't, man. Freddie, do me a favor. Please make sure they don't shoot, shoot Eugene. He's my best friend. He didn't know it. You know, I just just lied to him i just told him we're going to the bank and the next thing you know he's you know kind of almost as surprised as they were when i pulled the gun do you both want to end this stress situation i'm sending eugene out now freddie as a show of good faith mm -hmm. and i'm gonna send one hostage out too just to show you i'm not trying to end the world today sure um you ready to go eugene Yes, how do I how do I do this? Just walk out uh, to to walk out from the front door and raise your hand. And I guarantee you no one's gonna hurt you. Police okay. are gonna be outside, they're gonna 
Take you. Hey, you, you guys heard Eugene. This is going to go really badly for you guys the rest of the day. You understand that, right? It's going to end bad. If you guys lay a finger on Eugene and hurt Eugene, I am going to really make your day end badly. Douglas, sounds like you don't trust me. I gave you my word. Show me. Show me then. Don't tell me. Show me. I'm from the show me state, Freddie. No worries. I, I'll show you. We've been right. honest each other, correct? I think you've been direct with me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you don't hurt Eugene. You don't, you don't lay a finger on him. Look, I know you got to pat him down and all that nonsense. I know you got to do that, but if Eugene gets hurt, this is going to go really south on you guys. So my job, as I told you in the beginning of the conversation is to make sure no one gets hurt and everyone gets treated fairly. Okay, we, uh, we have uh, Eugene, uh, he's in the police car. Can I talk he's to him? Been... Let me talk to Eugene. Sure. Hey, hey, Eugene, you okay, man? Yeah, Douglas, Douglas, come out. They, uh, they, they, they're giving donuts here. It's all fine. It's all going to be okay. The Krispy Kremes, I might come out for Krispy Kremes, man. <laughs> no, man, I, I'm just sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to get you involved in all this, man. But, thank, but uh, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, let's make sure that no one gets hurt in this. Douglas. Friday. Let me tell you something. It might sound, it might sound weird, but um, most people must be watching this, uh, this situation. They might think you're a crazy guy, but I just noticed that you really care about people. The, the way you talk to your partner, it says a lot. You're not really a bad guy. Yeah, but the, how, do, how do I spend that? How do I, how do I buy dog food? How do I buy baby formula with I'm not, I'm not a bad guy? Apparently that hasn't worked. Uh, um, you mentioned that you, you really want to, you know, get education and, and, and I told you, uh, it's true when you go to jail, there is a lot of issues that you might get once you get out, but there's a lot of resources that you can take advantage. I know a lot of people who graduate with a master's degree in jail. So if that's why you want, I can facilitate for you. I can give you some advice. So what am I looking at? Am I looking at 10 years on this deal? 20, How, what am I looking at here? You haven't killed anyone? No, I'm not gonna hurt anyone. You being very yeah, uh, families, man. There's no way I would hurt anyone. I I know that. Um, you being very uh, fair with me, astray. Uh, we can negotiate with uh, uh you know, with the judge, the judge. And perhaps it's gonna be two years. If you behave well, it might be less than that. I don't know. That's does it sound pretty good? Don't doesn't sound right to me i think you're you're making up numbers now man i think it would be best but it is what it is it, it, freddie i'm sorry man it is what it is brother uh all right uh, let me send out the rest of the hostages this is what i can do for you uh douglas if you get out i take you to the um police station and I'm gonna get you a lawyer, so you can discuss with him what's the best deal you can get. Uh, I guess that's a good plan, I man. I guess public. But you have, it. you have to come out now, and yeah. I promise you that you will get treated better than Eugene. We're gonna get you two donuts. Hey, that sounds like a deal, man. I'm coming out. All right, in time. All right, Philly, uh, Philly, Philly, Freddy. Well, you're still fresh. Any uh, butterflies during the mock? I struggled in the beginning. Um, 
yeah, uh, I just struggled at the beginning. I felt that Douglas make uh, things simple for me. I didn't lose the control, but um, I didn't know how to navigate the situation at one point. You stayed in it. Uh, what were you resorting to? Was there anything you remember that you're like, I'm gonna keep doing you, this? Usually, when I when when I try to uh, participate, I, I have my stuff kind of ready. You know, a few things that I, I write down. This one is was 100% improvising, so it was yeah, negotiator to, on demand. <laughs> yeah, um, I tried to play. To I, don't, I was trying to listen a lot of stuff, but. I didn't have a specific plan, so to be honest, it is 100% improvised. This should be your plan. Uh, hand copy this. Let me uh, remove that. Uh, I guess somebody can put in chat uh, the cheat sheet. Yeah, no, normally I have my, my, my stuff as well, but. Uh, yeah, just saying uh, if, if you read this a lot and hand copy it, it'll be, it'll be ingrained in your head. You, don't, you wouldn't have to use any cheats just go out there and, and practice and yeah so i was looking out for stuff you were using like i usually put like calibrate a question mirror what i like what you did is um right here so i noticed lots of calibrated questions uh you, you did a lot of labels in the beginning so yeah i think you were uh, you were holding in there with with a lot of calibrated questions labels i heard summaries uh, so you, you were still in there. You were u utilizing tools uh, you got to know about him. Uh, Doug, or Douglas, while well, you're still fresh, any? Yeah, any I, I think Freddie did a really good job because I, I don't think I was that that helpful. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> I, I was very uh, cagey and adversarial up until the point uh, his daughter entered the chat. And then that, uh, that was kind of a cheat um, where – it, it hit that driver for me and that, that family thing. But I, I think what Freddie did well is he just plain didn't give up. And I think that that's the, the, one of the keys in some of these, when you're not getting anywhere, you don't feel like you are, but just hanging in the, hanging in the pocket, as we like to say, um, you persisted long enough where things worked itself out. Now, as you can see, my, I started up here and then just over time, just by staying, staying in the middle, just if you did nothing else, you stayed in the middle and you stayed calm and didn't lose your temper with me um, or getting impatient or, or making more, me feel more pressure. Um, I think in the end, that's what did it. It would eventually just starting the, in on, in, in, in my world, I'm eventually realizing, Hey, there's only really one ending in this scenario that doesn't involve death. Um, so it was the coming of the realization that, hey, I have to just leave this bank and I have to face my consequences. And that's the reality. And eventually you made me face the truth uh, as gently as possible. How was his tone and in, uh, in confidence? I felt like he did fine with tone. I think he could have a little more downward inflection maybe, but overall, for, I think just, uh, just could overall. You, could you hear the nervousness in his voice? I didn't really feel that. I, I felt he was just, you know, like well. trying to, trying to communicate with me and I, and I was just parrying. I'm like, I'm not trying to connect with you. And he, but it didn't come off as nervousness to me either though, which. Oh, it more yeah. like, um, more genuine then. Yeah, it was, he was being, he was authentic the whole time I felt. Oh, that's good. All right. Good job, Freddie. Yeah. So far. So good. Uh, Eugene. I thought so too. Did what? Uh, any, uh, any main points? Yeah, Freddie done. Pretty done fantastic job. I mean, it's it's really uncomfortable to stay in this pocket for 10 minutes, sure. even though the dynamic changed all right before your daughter came in and it was kind of switched the gears. Uh, I think maybe he done it just to help, actually, because uh, maybe it was a little bit uncomfortable for both of you. Uh, but uh, at the beginning, what you could have done differently is kind of push on his emotion a bit more because he's stuck in his pattern. He's stuck, he wants the car, he wants the car, he attached a lot of safety to this car right so he, he's risking a lot of things and banking a lot on the car at least at that stage at this moment so you know addressing this emotional and situational dynamic would help i suppose will help douglas to relax you uh relax him and you more 
Um, so of course, like in this uncomfortable situation, like we all get uncomfortable and you know, you, you feel like your default response was asking calibrated questions, yeah. which is, I think, which is great. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just be very aware of how you, how you, uh, how you structure it because the result of, but, but, mm. but in your, uh, in your approach. So that's, um, that's kind of a red flag. And another thing is, um, you, you, you mentioned, I'll be honest with you. Oh yeah. Lots of eyes. You know, like Douglas was already kind of, he was not a hostage anymore. He was just playing nice. But at, at that point, that's a big no-no. It's like, what, you, you haven't been honest with me? Like that said, that would be a trigger word for me. It would go out of the window, what, everything that you built prior to that. Yeah, so, you know, a couple of things uh, like this, but be careful how you, how you um, kind of structure it. Because I think um, before your daughter came in, that was kind of the real hostage situation. After that, it became more of kind of unraveling the situation, seeing like what kind of beans going to be spilled. And it just became like, you know, left and right, but nothing concrete. Um, so, yeah, I mean, other than that, I think fantastic job. So a bit, a bit more on the label side, I would lean, lean towards labels and labeling the emotional dynamic, no matter what. Just get this to practice in. That's it. I, and I, I give it. Dovetail yeah. off of what Eugene is saying there. I think that is one thing. Uh, you were labeling some emotion, but you put it in an iframe, and that took the takes the the power of the label out. I did notice that a couple of times, uh, and I forgot to mention it. Um, so just label the emotion, take it out of take the word I out of the vocabulary. Yeah, Freddie. Sure. Whenever you use the word I in these negotiations, I feel disrespected because it's not going to build that rapport with your counterpart. That was an eye message. <laughs> did you? How did that feel, Freddie, when I gave that eye message? Yeah, that's something that I'm, trying, I'm struggling to. Uh, it's a habit I have. Uh, so usually, when I doing this mock, I write some patterns there, so I remind me to avoid. Yeah. But that is something I do as well, but I don't uh, notice. So, but if I see myself um, in a video, probably I will have another one. And that. the reason I, I give the I message, I did the sample of it, is I think that would help you. Uh, one thing I observed is that you were willing to give him the car. And then towards the end, you kind of reneged on it. More like, I don't know, no car. I don't know why. Uh, what I would maybe like, I like that you didn't say you didn't say no directly in the beginning, uh, but there's a there's one in the sheet she called the four and we do it on N nine. It's called four ways of saying no. It should have been how am I supposed to do that? Which I think you did. Then the second one is, it sounds like a great idea. I ju I just can't make that happen. It's just not gonna it's not gonna work out. Then the third way is I'm sorry, I just can't. Then the fourth way is just no. Yeah, no, uh, but I did. I did like that you you didn't just give them a straight no. You know, at least you strung them along. Um, but it's best to just do the four ways of no instead of giving his hopes up. Freddie, I do have an alternative for you. I just came across the agreement frame, and we can agree that maybe but is not great. Um, how about yes and? So uh, yeah, like consider, improv. yeah, exactly right. It's the same basic principle. So like when you're, you're not wanting to, you're trying to, okay, so but is like a brick wall, right? It's like, that's a stop. Um, so like say, I, I uh, really like, uh, uh, let's say anchovies on my pizza, which I don't, by the way. Uh, I want anchovies on my pizza and I want uh, pepperoni, and, and you can say, but I don't like fish. Um, for example, you could say, I agree that anchovies sometimes might go good on some pizza, but and mo some people might really be disgusted by it. So what you're saying is instead of your idea is wrong, it's alternative. You add another alternative out there without being as blunt. Um, 
And so what the, the yes and uh, formula does is allows you to be, uh, to put your ideas in there, which you, which you uh, will wanna do, but also not be as uh, abrupt. I appreciate the feedback. Yeah, that's something that uh, is a habit that's difficult to get rid of. Yeah. Eli, Eli, you got any, and correct mm -hmm. me if I mispronounce your name, you got any feedback, any takeaways from that, from Freddie's negotiation? It was okay. Uh, most calibrated questions, no oriented questions. Yeah, for the first time, uh, as as previous time, I, I I don't have to add something on that. Yeah, Florin. <clears throat> yeah, well, that was a bit uh, tough at the beginning, and I noticed there was a change when uh, Freddy's daughter, if I understand correctly, interrupt and. From that point uh, on, everything switched and Douglas started to, to speak uh, and relate more to the family. And Freddie also had uh, noticed, uh, Freddie noticed that point and he started to ask uh, better questions and he had another one quite close to the end, which they were brilliant, I would say. Someone knock at the door, sorry. So, so yeah, well done, Freddy. Uh, Douglas, well done as well. And Costas, or Freddy, you want to respond to Florence's feedback or I'll proceed? Costas? Costa, sorry. Unmute. You on mute? No, okay. There. Yeah, good. Well, well, it was good, but, uh, but, <laughs> okay, uh, it was uh, good. I have to mention that uh, Douglas uh, made it very, very easy. And I have no idea how would it go if, uh, if the girl uh, didn't appear. Maybe you have a totally difficult discussion. It was a it was a gif, right? It was a gif from, from something out there. Uh, yeah. you, so you're saying you think Freddie was having a hard time connecting? Yeah, it's it's like Deus Ex Machina, you know, from the theater where uh, where something comes, uh, a god comes out of the machine <laughs> and, and helps <laughs> and so on. Say so you got it, lucky, Freddie. Uh, Yes, I, I really don't know what, what how was it go, going to be if if it keep this uh, away. That's a fair point. Uh, anything else? How was his tone? Did you like it? Oh, I thought he did did fine with tone. Maybe a little more downward, but I think Freddie's basic personality and uh, is pleasant. So I, I think uh, you in sales, Freddie. I was. Oh, you weren't sales? Yeah, I was in the past. You think uh, some of it came into play here? Uh, probably. Yeah. As I say, everything was like 100% uh, improvised. Didn't yeah. have any specific plan. So I, I, I guess I um, rely on what are the skills. Well, they're good. Huh? The calibrated questions. Really liked how you use them and did you feel any any butterflies throughout the negotiation no uh, in this case no I, um, but i felt i didn't know where to go at one point and that That's was uh, i didn't right have a sales plan. call you got kind of callous right <laughs> you're just focused on the on the strategy that's good no okay that makes sense I appreciate all, all the feedback. Um, this oh, you did great. Have, Thank uh, you for joining. I'm to myself. So, well, do you want to 
turn the table and be the hostage taker on someone? Of course, of course. Uh, all right. Who do you want your Who do you want the uh, negotiator to be? Any volunteer, maybe? Uh, I would say between Costa and Eli. Uh, get a chance to get in there. Eli. Okay. Okay. Now, um, same, same situation. Um, mm -hmm. Freddie, can can you turn um your speaker off for like one minute? Sure. Hey, Eli, it's it's the same uh, mm -hmm. same situation. You, you know, when you were younger, you got involved in a crew and then a gang. So mm -hmm. you got you got in trouble and you got put in jail. You were in jail and you got face tattoos and maybe one or two tattoos on your face. Mm -hmm. You got out of jail. You got a girl pregnant. And now you got now you're having a second baby. So you decided to just go and rob a bank. Mm -hmm. And you went I'm to the, the robber. Yes. And you went okay. to the bank with a friend, uh, let's say two friends, let's say it was Eugene and Douglas, and they didn't know you were going to rob the bank, but they're your friends, so they went mm -hmm. along mm -hmm. with it, but they don't really, this was all you, like this was, you were frustrated because yeah. of money, you couldn't get a job, mm -hmm. and now this negotiator with a government job calls you, oh, how nice, right, he's got his little government job, and you're like struggling to get a job because you have a criminal record mm -hmm. and you're really upset because this is what you have to do, right? Society mm -hmm. made you do this. They put you in this position. Mm -hmm. You didn't get any support getting out of jail and, and now you're there. Um, maybe you had a job for a week, but you got fired, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, so you're just right. Does it make sense? Okay. 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 Makes sense. Okay. Freddie. Okay. okay so, uh, hey. Hey. I don't care who is on the other side. I have a hostage here. Oh wait, did did I mess up? You um, have sixty seconds. I'm sorry. I totally uh, I messed up again. Uh, am I there? Yeah, you're the hostage taker. Um, okay, you may. <laughs> okay. okay, but it's the uh, same story. Fred is a hostage taker. I'm a negotiator. Yeah, yeah, you're the negotiator. Okay, you know, sorry. sorry. To uh, prepare but, my mind, just. But just you know what? Uh, it's the seconds. same. You, you know the black swans. Uh, so okay. you should you should do well. Okay. Uh, Freddie, do you, you remember the story, right? You've been in out of jail. I mean, yeah, you went in jail. You you got someone pregnant, and now you're having another kid. And so you went to the bank with two of your friends, Eugene and Douglas, and decided, um, I'm going to rob this bank. You've been wanting to do it for a while. And that's going to really help out your, uh, your family and all that. Sure. Okay. But, you know, you're, you're kind of a good guy. You know, it's just uh, society kind of put you in bad spots. So this is what you have to do. You're going to get this money and do better, do good things with it. Mm -hmm. And Eli is calling you. He's a negotiator. Okay. Hey. Uh, hi, who's this? Police? FBI? Who are you? Who are you? Who, which one I'm speaking with? You call the bank. There's no in service right Please. now. We're closed. Please introduce yourself. The bank is closed. We we're not opening today. Uh, Daniel, sorry. Uh, I didn't understand. I'm the ho hostage robber or I'm negotiator. You are the negotiator. But I'm calling to the bank. Yeah, yeah, because uh, because Freddie is is robbing it. He has hostages. Okay, but 
He has hostages. He didn't say anything to me. Yeah, you're supposed he to bring Ring. He sounded like a, like an ordinary guy. But yeah, he is, an or, he is an ordinary guy. Uh, ordinary people rob banks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he just wants some money so he can take care of his family. Like, uh, Well, mm-hmm. that's for you to find out and figure out in the role play. Yeah. Okay, again, so sorry. You're, you're, no, yeah, your sorry. job as a negotiator is to free the hostages. Mm-hmm. To free the um, hostages, okay. But most likely they're going to die, yeah, unless you negotiate. Okay, good. okay, okay. Go yeah. ahead. So, hey. Ring, ring, ring them. Uh, ring, ring. Hey, who is on the other side? Are you the police? Uh, who I'm speaking with? I'm speaking with Freddy. Are you the police? Freddy? Yes. Mm, nice to meet you, Freddy. Uh, okay. Are you the police or no? Police? What do you mean? I don't understand. So if you are climbing, uh, 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 we, we close today. I'm sorry. Close? Yeah, it is. Do you have someone uh, nearby you? Sorry, Freddy. we close. We can go to another uh, location. Uh, you moved to another location. Who are you, Freddy? What's your business? I'm sorry, but this bank is taken. Taken by who? Unless you're the police, I'm not gonna talk to you. I'm sorry. Freddy, I'm not going to hurt you. We are here to help you. Who Just are you? Just tell the reason. What's the reason you are there? I'm sorry. If you're a customer, uh, this bank uh, is taking. So I'm going to hang up unless you're the police. It seems like you're afraid of something, Freddy. You don't want to tell me. I just told you. You told me? What? Freddy, what's the reason you are there? Who is with you, Freddy? So, sir, uh, we, uh, the bank was, we robbed in the bank. Unless you see the police, you, you can go to another bank. How did you came, how did you come there? <sighs> We're trying to take money from the bank. Mm, it seems like we have a reason for doing that. Yeah, we, 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 I need money. But I don't money? know why I'm telling you this one. Uh, I just want to talk to the police. Honestly, I, I want to get out of this situation. Are you the we're, police? We are here to help you, Freddy. We but are not the police. We are not the police. Oh, you're not the police? So Yeah, we are caring to take out you safely outside of the bank. So what was your, what's your role? Who do you work with? What? I didn't understand you. So, so why are you calling me? We are here to help you, Freddy. Who is with you? We are here to, to take you safely outside yeah. of the bank. Do you work for the police, FBI? Do you want to be hurt, Freddy? No. I'm no. just trying to understand uh, why you're calling me. Freddy, uh, what, what makes you to come there? <sighs> I just need money. I just need money. It seems like you want to stay safe. Yes, I want to stay safe. I just need money. And now I'm in this situation. I need a car. Do you have a car? Do you need a car? What car? Yes. What kind of car you need? Any car. As, as long as I just want to, do you want to help me? I can give you some yep, money. Yeah, we are here. We will do everything to take out you safely. Who is with you, Freddy? Sure. How much do you want? How many people are there? Do you yeah. have a hostages? 
Do they have hostages uh, there? Yeah, they are. Just in case something goes wrong, if the police want to come and get mm. me, I need to have so sort of insurance, right? We will do everything to be safe, to have a food, to have a shelter. Please, just come up, uh, come out of the bank. So you, you, you are we will the help police. you. We will help you, Freddy. Are you afraid? Do you want the police to catch you? I'm just confused. Uh, who are you? The police, FBI, Super Service. We are here are to do everything to get out of there. Okay, it seems so like you have a... something in your mind. Yes, a car. I want a car. Yes. So, what kind of car you you want to to bring you? Any four wheel car is fine with me. So, yeah, how can I make? How can I be so sure that the hostages are safe? If you give me the car, I'm gonna leave by myself, and the hostage would be in the bank. Uh, I'm not gonna take any hostage with would me. Would you be opposed to, to give me one of the hostages? If you show me the car in front of the bank, I will. That's a good deal for me. How can be so sure that the hostages are safe? You have to trust me like the way I'm trusting you. Uh, yeah, you trust uh, good point. You're in, char you're in charge here. You're in control. You're totally rule here. Yeah. I'll, I'll be honest, but you're the I master. Is 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 depends on uh, us. If you trust me and you you being honest with everything we agree in, I'm gonna be honest with you as well. It, it seems like you wanna you wanna hurt the hostages. No, I don't wanna hurt you. I just wanna leave this bank. Um, everything is gonna go back. Freddy, to doesn't seem like that. We see that you want to hurt the hostages there. I didn't hurt anyone, sir. Do you want police to catch you? How do you know that I heard hostage? How can we be so sure that the hostages are safe? Because I didn't hurt anyone. I can show you a video if you want. You don't hurt anyone? Didn't hurt anyone. So how many hostages are there? The three hostages, they good. Actually, they hungry. Can we? Can, can you bring me some food? Food? Yes. Uh, yeah, we can provide everything to, okay. to be healthy and safe. First of all, you need to give me a hostage, a hostage on the phone. Sure. Venice. Come here. Police want to talk to you. Are you okay? Are you okay? You want pizza? You tell tell him that you want pizza. I want pizza. You want, you want pizza, sweetie? Are you, okay? Are you safe? Are you safe? How do you feel? Uh, good. Good. Oh, great. So, the, do you want a blue car or yeah. yellow one? Uh, yellow. No, I'm asking you. What, 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 what car do you need? Um, okay, go back. You and yell. No, no. Yes. No. That's not. They, they good. The yellow they, one or blue? They just hungry. Can you give me pizza one, uh, actually two? And if you can give me the car, I'll release one hostage. Right now, do we have a deal? 
it seems like you have something to, on your mind. Yes, I'm hungry and I want a car. Do we have a deal? I release one hostage right now. How can you assure me that the hostage will stay safe? I just told you. Seems like you don't trust me. It seems like you wanna run away from the bank. Yes, I you wanna, want to be hurt. I wanna, no, I wanna go back to my family. I want this situation. Family well, situation. Wanna... Do you have a family? Yeah. I want to, yeah, I want to have a, a daughter. I want to go just stay with them. This was, was a mistake, but it's nothing I can do right now. Unless you give me a car. You give do me a car. Do you want your I family to be hostage. safe? Do you want Sorry? your family to be safe? Yeah, they, they're safe right now. But I want everyone What to do you be mean? Safe. So... <laughs> What compels you to do this, Freddie? I just wanted some money. You want to risk your life for the money? I didn't want to risk my life. I just wanted to take some money and that's it. The bank has a lot of money. So I'm not trying to hurt anyone. You have a lot of job to do, Freddie. What are you afraid of? I'm, I'm afraid to someone gets killed. The police is so here. So you want to kill someone? No, no the Don't police, they, they're going to shoot everyone. Do you want to be shot? At? No, I don't. So what compels you to do that, Freddy? I'm really curious to know. I just want some money. That's the only reason? Y Why yes, you I don't find a job? It. Why you don't find a job? It's hard. I don't want to work. You don't want to work? Why would I work if I can take money? I just Freddy, want to provide find a decent family. job. We will, we will help you to do that. We are responsible are for job? every human being. Are you gonna give me a job? Why don't we meet outside of the bank and get a deal? If you promise me you're gonna give me a job in the, in the, in the police, I'll, I'll surrender. We will give you a job, Freddy. You're gonna give me a job if you promise me that? Yeah, Freddy. 100% sure. Okay. Bring your uh, commander, and if he agree with those terms, I'll surrender right now. Can you put your commander on the phone? Who will be the commander? Douglas. <laughs> Douglas. This is Douglas speaking. Hey, Douglas. Um, listen, uh, this situation... It's out of control. I want to end this. Ilya, he's been great. He promised me for a job. If you confirm that I'll be joining the police after I surrender, I'll surrender right now. How can I do that, Freddy? Why not? Ilya told me. Freddy. So you like have a plan. The commander cannot provide you a job? How is that, Ilya? I, I thought you were, you were honest with me. Yeah, the commander can provide the job. Ask him for help. I think you mute, Ilya. <laughs> mute? What do you mean? What happened with Ilya Douglas? It seems you like you wanna, you know, you spot? wanna uh, threaten me. <laughs> Are 
I can't hear. You can hear? Are you deaf? Oh. It was the signal, sorry. Are you deaf? No, no. Oh. Not yet. Not yet. Commander so will, my commander will help you. Really, we want we want to, to stay safe. Really, we, we want to get out of you safely and to provide you with a decent job. Really Douglas, want that. is that right? If you say yes, I can end this one right now. If you promise me a job. Freddie, we got to go a different way. We can't do that. You see, there is no job for me. I'm trying to get a job, and this is what happens. Police are within sight, Freddie. You're getting nervous. They're, they got you surrounded. Yeah. You better get a deal, Freddie. Yeah, you better get a deal. Freddie, look. Let's end this now. No one's hurt. Let's, let's be honest. You're going to have to do some time. I'm going to shoot you straight. I can't just hire you onto the police force after, after you hold, hold the bank hostage. You know we can't do that. I didn't hurt anyone. I know you didn't. That's why when we get you out of there, we want you to get out of there safe today. You promised me that police is not going to be... We don't want to hurt you. Snipers are we in position. We don't want to hurt you. Okay, I'll, I'll surrender after eating some food because I know I'm not going to get this after that. That's a deal. We'll get you some pizza. Buffet. Have a nice lunch. Buffet. Maybe we have a buffet. I'm going to spend like 10 years. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> Little Caesars is at the door. Uh, mission <laughs> complete. Everyone's fed. Everyone's safe. Uh, good job, Eli. The hostages lived. And he's out. Good job. Yeah, you all deserve medal, a golden medal. So, uh, Medals. Well, so while Freddy, uh, well, no, the negotiator, while you're still fresh, Eli, uh, I'm sorry, Freddy, how did you feel? Did you feel connected? Uh, did you feel it was lying? I mean, it's, it looked like you. You weren't believing the guy. You weren't having any trust. So in the beginning, I wasn't sure who he was. And I asked him several times, you know, what he does, what he's calling for. And he wasn't clear. So I, I wasn't sure who I was dealing with. Um, second, there was a lot of questions. And there was some mirrors as well, but I didn't feel like he was listening what I was saying. Yeah, it was like he was just shooting questions off some list online. That's what it felt like to me. Because yeah, they weren't connecting; they were just random, random. You, you know what it sounded? Like, you know what yeah, it Doug, seemed like to me? Uh, yeah. You know when you're practicing tennis and they have that tennis ball machine and it shoots tennis <laughs> balls at you. Eli was a tennis ball machine shooting questions. Okay, no order, no order. Just flat. Okay, was another one. That... I had to let it go. I'm gonna see how for the it's, first time it I don't worked. know how it, it was. Uh, Eli, is that true? Were you were you just reading random questions from somewhere, just spitting them out? The random. Uh, he was not opening, and this mm -hmm. uh, the citation was. Uh, um, Where did you get the questions from? <laughs> You're joking what? with me. <laughs> no, I'm not a little slippery eel. So, uh, really, he was not opening to me, and I was not feeling that he she was a host, a host uh, uh, she, she was a uh, hostage taker. So, I mean, that's that's the reason that's why I problem. shot it so randomly you... some questions. Oh, but to discover you, his. Were you needs. reading them from somewhere? Reading? What do you mean? Were you were you reading the questions, or were they coming from your head, or from a screen or a paper outside? What do you mean, reading? That, yeah, were you looking at something? I'm not sure. All right. Well, let's continue with the feedback. We'll see. Uh, 
What do we got, Eugene? Uh, can you start the feedback? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I was on and off, yeah, on the spaceship to the maintenance. Uh, yeah, I mean, Ilya, <laughs> Ilya was in the saddle. He was just not sure what kind of question to ask and, and like where to take it. Yeah. Uh, so in Ilya, if you wasn't sure that he's a hostage taker, that's the kind of question you should be asking <laughs> to clarify. No, seriously. I mean, he was not oh, threatening me. Or, you know, oh. I, I've expected yeah, well, 60 seconds or, or she died, he dies, well, I will he, kill them. A, I'll well, he's a different type of, he's a different, he's a different type quiet. of personality. You got to figure out what kind really of personality. I really, I really, what are. I really like, I really like what you had in mind and like, seems like you want to hurt people. Seems like you want to hurt someone today. And then Freddie said, no, 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 I'm not. So he, she, she started defending his position. I'm not hurting anyone. So that was already established, right? Or that, then you could have actually, it seems like you're really planning on get away, like getting with, with everything and, and, you know, leaving nothing in place. Like you could, you could actually evolve this a little bit more because now he was in defensive mode. You could just capitalize on this point. So that was interesting to uh, to see because Freddy was totally like, no, no, I don't want, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just the want real, pizza. Just the give real me, give me some pizza. Taker will threaten, will be threatening, and get out it quickly as quick as possible. So he, he well, was quite as he, quite, to the, as, the as, he as, as he the had at, at all time uh, on the world. So I don't see any, you know, uh, some related things. Uh, well, Ilya, again, what was your outcome? What is the outcome that you were hoping for? I, I didn't know the person, you know. She, no, she no the, per the person is fine. The situation itself, the situation itself. Like, what, what was, what would be the uh, ultimate outcome of the of this scenario? Like, what would, would you say? Yeah, that would that would be a great success. Uh, great success. You have to, <laughs> to surrender. Uh, uh, without take anything at all, not money, okay, so not the money, not the hostages to kill nobody, to get out with nothing. That 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 gotcha. success. Yeah. So you had this in mind and you explored it a little bit. It's just it seemed like you were going kind of on and off track because you know, of course, this uh, unfamiliar situation and there is like. Not lack of clarity and doubt like what's happening where do i take it so you you've done a lot of things brilliantly and, and some things like you you, you you were just falling back to your default behaviors like trying to bribe him with, with like a job offer which you knew you couldn't fulfill so it, it was the uh, reason you know, was uh, he, he didn't take any money at the moment so he didn't he didn't he cannot find a job Either so uh, you're searching for the needs. So you started solving And the his needs problem. are he wants he wants to just to take a job and to have some money. That's not maybe maybe he's hungry. I don't know. Uh, he's got to solve his problem. He was and hungry. Your problem. Really. That's that's a good point, Eugene. He was selling himself <laughs> with one yeah, pizza. Yeah. Yeah, just let, let me tell you from my perspective, my strategy. My strategy was okay, I'm trapped here. I'm I'm just one to make things better for everyone so they can you know i can get less sentences so i want to treat well everyone i want to work with you but i just felt like you were hitting me with questions and you were not using those uh um i mean I, I, you were not using my answer as as a way to negotiate something you were trying to just hit me with questions it was like he was uh Forcing his opinion instead of using yours. Yeah, maybe yourself. maybe I was forcing a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you weren't listening. That's the first rule, first step. For the first time. No. Yeah. No one died. It's all good. <laughs> uh, we will learn, got, Douglas. Along gotta, the way. So. You got anything? Um. Overall, I think that uh, the big thing that I I did like about Ilya's approach is he was. Uh, there was a definite curiosity again i think the curiosity unfortunately was it ended up being a machine gun in terms of questions um could have used some serious dynamic silence there uh would have yeah. would, i think would have gone a, a huge 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 difference in his outcome um and, and but i did like and what i thought and eugene pointed out too the mislabels were were genius 
Oh, that was a genius mislabel. You want to hurt someone. And, and, and Freddie's like, immediately, no, no, I don't want to do that. And then instantaneously, you've gotten a huge commitment on the other side to uh, treat, treat the hostage as well. So that was that was nicely done. Um, overall, just uh, uh, really just work on the dynamic silence mm-hmm. side. And I think you got a lot to work with there, Ilya. You got the uh, definite curiosity going. Um, and I think just you know, a little more labels instead of just mm-hmm. questions, maybe. Um, but mm-hmm. uh, overall, a uh, lot of opportunity there and uh, just keep the curiosity. And, and again, I think slow, slowing down your pace will help out a lot, lot too. Yeah. But so uh, now on the, the, yeah, yeah, the pace. Yeah. But uh, overall, uh, got another great rep in. We've done a great job. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. One step yeah. closer. Do you have the questions there? Do you have any notes with the questions or something, Yulia? Uh, no, we will learn along the way. Yeah. Are you lying to me? For the f- to lie you? Why oh, to lie oh, you? For fuck's sake, yeah, forget about it. Because earlier you said you're not sure. You're not sure if you have questions written on the paper or what? What you're not no, sure? No, I don't have questions. Uh, <laughs> really. <laughs> Frankly, I don't okay. have anything on, on my desktop. Yeah, doesn't, so. doesn't matter. Really. Uh, for me, this was like I was watching a Tarantino movie, you know. Like <laughs> 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 You know, Frankly, it's actually really? a machine gun and <laughs> all kind of things going up and down and all kind of and <laughs> and uh, when your daughter Freddy came and uh, you know, I, I will tell you something. I, I had some similar experience with with some kind of hostage taker, but not hostage taker. They were a fraud. You know, they 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 made a fraud and the. After afterward, they, you know, uh, they were suited on the court. It was really a dangerous situation, and I avoided that situation. But I didn't know the the rules, Blacksburn rules. I was really scared, and just hang up the phone immediately. I didn't accept anything okay. from them. Brave boy. Yeah. Now, okay, so became a bit weird when uh, uh, Freddy called his daughter and you start speaking about, are you safe there? <laughs> I mean, your family <laughs> about, and hostages. I mean, <laughs> Freddy, you need to explain that what a stimulation to, to your daughter, everything is fine and you are not <laughs> speaking to it. Anymore. I mean, and later when you start offering him a job, <laughs> I mean, for fuck's sake, man, your HR, are you recruiting now? Are you offering jobs? What, what the fuck is going on? I mean... <laughs> yeah, um, feel, free to, feel, feel, feel free to tell your opinion. I, I'd like to hear you. Yeah, Everyone, thank you. Really. But, Appreciate. Your tools. I mean, tools, that, you know, those... I saw once a girl... Uh, dancing on youtube or something like this she had the moves but not the dance you know they were like, oh, no. <laughs> like so the moves they were there like, like you are now so you have the moves, but not the, but not, not the negotiation no rhythm so, <laughs> this is how it came to me. <laughs> you know you probably saw one of those oh, oh, youngsters oh, on YouTube. Oh, probably they gonna think like they were <laughs> suffering or brain attack or something like that. <laughs> so the moves they were there, but not the dance. So Emilia, I, I think it was the same with you. You had the pulse, but not the negotiating. So keep practicing. <laughs> oh. Uh, where uh, where we should we go from here? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, uh, Costa. Yes, I have. <laughs> uh, Unless you got a response, Eli. Uh, 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is go this uh, thing is going to be very popular. <laughs> uh, we will read it at the last for a long time again and see and see. Uh -huh. Very glad that it is written in a in a video. So uh, so uh, Elia, this is one thing you do, and I guess yeah, if you change it, you'll gain a hot lot a lot of your game because. Uh, it's a, you play a, a, you don't exist. That's what we say the other. There's, there's no existence, which is bad for the other, of course. But I don't think uh, it is clever when negotiating to play uh, no existence to the other. Okay, next time will be better. Yes, I will For explain. everyone, yeah. I, I will explain now the, the no existence. Uh, who are you? He said you, uh, <laughs> he asked you, and you say, he asked, are you the police? And you do not answer. And he asked, uh, let's say, seven times. And uh, it likes, he doesn't exist. It's easy to answer. I am uh, Ilya from the police part uh, because you were hiding this without no real reason to hide. I would close, of course, if uh, if if uh, I wouldn't wait to to see. Perhaps if he was very desperate, that was an interesting uh, black swan because uh, if you keep speaking to somebody like this means that we are uh, uh, you're speaking with a desperate person no no logical desperate uh, person will keep uh, talking with this so you keep on ignoring 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 i kind of like that though yes. <laughs> eli wasn't spilling no beans yeah, <laughs> but he was. He <laughs> was, was, he was, he was, he was the bean. Was the bean. bean. <laughs> uh, Mr. Bean. <laughs> uh, I can imagine are, how it would be to be Mr. Uh, bean. Uh, <laughs> oh, you don't need to. Yes, you don't. Need to. <laughs> and uh, you have your voice have uh, uh, attacking things. It oh, was yes. like the attacking. <laughs> yes, you, you are attacking. The, the voice has something that has something. Instead of something calming, you know, it's going to be like that. was relaxed until the he got on the phone man. with Eli. <laughs> he got stressed. I come there with the shotgun oh. <laughs> and, to, clean, uh, <laughs> to clean the mess. Uh, and of course, you stop the other, which is very, very, very crazy. He speaks and you stop him. While he's speaking, you, you interfere to stop him. And you are, of course, a lot of time. That's why I'm, calling, I'm telling you for no existence. Because he speaks and tap. <laughs> Not once. It's a, a pattern. And... Uh, uh, yeah, also, you answer very fast. You are oh, eager to yeah. fast. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a little bit slower. And no, uh, uh, let yeah, it pause. Uh, let it pause for uh, for a while, please. Uh, he, he tells something. Okay, just give a a small uh, space. Yeah. Space space. I will tell you an example. Uh, You've got a point, really, there. Uh, yeah. I tell, I'll tell you an example. <clears throat> uh, the, uh, the president goes to America and speaks, okay? And he has his translator with him, okay? And he translates, uh, blah, 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 translate to Greek, blah, 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 and so on. He knows uh, English very well, excellent English. He has the translation, the translator just to have more time to think. He does know the. He does know English very well. He was uh, finished uh, some uh, university there. Yeah, the, I heard the about that. The translator is there just to have more time. Yep. You understand? 
just, no, he, 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 like, he didn't need any time. He, he was reading a script. He was reading prefabricated questions, which is fine. Uh, just let us know. Just let me answer something. I have a more. I have more here. Oh, yeah. What, pause it for a sec. Uh, what do you got, Freddy? Yeah. Uh, he have a threatening something the voice. The ah, voice. Was... I told you I was starting. Also, you ask a question, and then you you ask another question on, on top of the first question. You you know you you ask something. Yeah, just to wait, wait, and another question. Yeah, that that was uh, never wrong. Well, ask a question. Yeah. And never. This is his yeah. question. He will answer in uh, three minutes. It's okay to ask a question. Then another question. Uh, just a moment because I cannot read my, my, my own. Oh, okay. Why? Uh, this is why you tell me sometimes uh, why you don't find a job. And we say, why? <laughs> don't you have why don't you find the job? No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but okay. We say, why? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't, don't be an asshole. Yeah, don't take hostage. Just find the freaking no, that, job, that, right? That, that, the question uh, the, the was not. Why are you being wide? so rude, right? <laughs> oh, Mr. Bean. <Pete. laughs> and, and you ask okay, me why. Okay, uh, I appreciate your opinion, Costa. You're, oh. <laughs> you, you're right in most of the uh, critics. Most. So. <laughs> I have more opinions to be <laughs> <laughs> So you ask him why you don't find a job. And yeah. then he, if you go again, why don't you find it again? Julia, <laughs> no. do you feel like a hostage now? <laughs> okay. No, <I'm> really <laughs> like <laughs> why don't you make it find a job? And then why don't you That was really stop? funny. That oh, was really funny, man. <laughs> ah, excellent. I have some excellent things here. Uh, uh, Please, Costa, don't, don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dry, but <laughs> but uh, uh, are you deaf? And you ask him twice. Oh, are, yeah, you are, deaf? Deaf. are you deaf? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the, the best Tarantino movie forever. Are you deaf? <laughs> <laughs> and generally, we, you have an attacking voice when being curious. Oh. I, I, I don't know. I, attacking curiosity, maybe. I don't know what this <laughs> and what does it get. Thank you. <laughs> it's, Thank you so it's, much. It's a, like uh, a mother asking her if, uh, his uh, very small children. Uh, I'm going to the hospital now. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, yes. After this. And, uh, I, uh, and uh, and you give a promise that you know you cannot keep. That's that's huge because he it's easy to understand for him, and uh, it's a good reason to change totally and start shooting one to show you that uh, you are not that stupid. That was, would, would you, stupid. Would Nobody. you have fired this negotiator for <clears throat> for telling you to get a criminal a job? Well, it's <laughs> yeah, that's bad. It, 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 <laughs> And on top of it, he was antagonizing a man with a gun, which is probably never a great strategy. So, uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, offering to hire a bank robber to the police department immediately after they, after the right during the hostage negotiation, that one was a uh, kind of a uh, uh, out there for me. It was out he, there. He got pizza out of it. Yeah, I think he Freddy, did. <laughs> Freddy, I think Freddy became the negotiator. He's getting pizza. Uh, try to get a job, and I think a blue or red car at one point <laughs> was an offer. <laughs> Do you want some blue or yellow one? <laughs> uh, Costa, you got anything else? Blah, 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 blah. To, to, to summarize the no yeah. existence for the others uh, is something that would be very interesting if it changes and see if it works for you or, if, or, it, or it doesn't work. For you, you do it. It's your style. You you play in no existence to others. I have seen you several times, uh, but it, uh, today it was too much, and so I thought it's a good idea to point out because 
It is not an easy thing to point out. I, I try. Uh, so I really like what Florence said. Um, usually some of these, like uh, with, with Shodan, like yesterday when he was on, it was like watching Neo from the Matrix, just, you know, it was a nice flow of mirror calibrated <laughs> question, label, label, mirror, paraphrase, summary, calibrated question, label, label. It was like a nice pace. That's so why I'm like, geez, like a boxer in there hanging the pocket. Uh, you got your counterpart crying. Um, and then uh, watching Eli with the same tool, access to the same tools and questions. But like Florence said, it was just like watching uh, like someone that knows the dance moves, they read it and then they, they were looking like, like, I don't know what he said, like floppy fish or something. So can uh, I, so can I, add something? I wrote down the moves. Yeah, go ahead, Eugene. I think what Ilya really needs to double down on is summaries. Like you just need to summarize most of the situation or okay. most of the sentences that Fred is saying. Just really try to double down on this and you, you'll yeah. become more humanizing like in this case because that, that will make him feel understood and heard. Right, rather than just throwing questions, yeah. Oops. Try to um, try to summarize it. Just a quick sum or oh, paraphrasing. But I think in your case, you would need summaries. Paraphrasing is too easy for you. Like I think you're gonna mm -hmm. maybe struggle with this a lot. You will you will tend to add a lot of your own things to this. But summaries mm -hmm. is just what Freddie said. And then just follow it up with what else am I missing here? What else, what else, you know, you know, it seems like I'm missing something here. Let them feel in the sign of the silence and then you summarize it again and again until you get to that right once once you get this right or exactly you know, like something along these lines then you just mm -hmm. do what you do mm -hmm. yeah you got a lot of potential you know, especially yeah, that's uh, right that was if, if those questions all those questions were really out of your brain and not mm -hmm. from external source mm -hmm. man that's that is really good in itself no all i was got, not reading frankly yeah, so yeah, I mean the neural pathways are there. Like they were, I, it, yeah. If anything, um, slow it down. Yeah. More dynamic silence, so you can think. Uh, like someone was saying, slow it down on purpose, so you can yeah. have more time to think. Pretend you have a translator or mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> try to get a deeper label, which requires mm -hmm. more listening. Mm -hmm. And you know you listen well because you'll be able to do a summary. Um, mm -hmm. So that's yeah. I think you're ready for that next step. Uh, but let, let's just let me read through the dance real quick. Uh, yeah. Who are you? What's your business? I'm not going to hurt you. What's the reason you're there? That was good. Uh, it seems like you're afraid of something, Freddie. And instead of silence, you went with, you don't want to tell me. Uh, <laughs> negotiator. <laughs> negotiator. How did you come there? I'm like, what is he asking if he rode a bike or, okay. Negotiator, it seems like you have a reason for doing that, right? Uh, we are here to help you, not the police. Who do you work with? I don't understand you. Uh, that was Freddie's response. Here to take to safety. Do you want to be hurt? I like that. That was a good norm into question. Do you want to be hurt? He said, no, no, no. What makes you come there? It seems like you want to stay safe. What kind of car do you need? Calibrated question. How many people there? And then you went for the ask, like coffee shop. Please come out the bank. Now report was not there. Went for the ask. No oriented question. We're here to do everything. Uh, something on your mind? What kind of car? How can I make sure the hostage will be okay? Good point. Uh, you're in charge and control the master. Yeah, that's where I'm like, he's reading something. He's like, he's like, you're in charge, you're in control, you're the master. Was that in your head or were you reading that? Uh, no, but really that was uh, some was kind of you? knowledge, some kind of knowledge from, uh, from, your head. from the past. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Uh, yeah, you're, you're in charge. <laughs> that was not... Control. Uh, invented, no, invented. Fre Freddie, uh, did that make me. you feel good when you said that? If you remember when he told you you're in to charge, you're fair, in control. I usually master. have some. To be fair, I usually have some questions written before uh, things that I could anticipate. So I, I don't think that's nothing wrong. You did a lot of 
good questions, mirrors, no inter questions, calibrated questions. It just, you didn't take that uh, feedback. And, 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 and like, that was my feedback actually, like Eugene, if you use the summaries it would be like much better. Uh, but overall, I mean, you, you really know the tools, so. Yeah, the N9's paying off, yeah. It seems like you want to hurt the hostages. That was a good, no calibrated question. Do you want the police to get you? You don't hurt anyone. Uh, food? Do you want a blue car or a yellow car? How can you assure me? Do you want your family to be safe? Or into, you know, not your, uh, what compels you to do this, Freddie? Oh, then you talked over. Why, that, why don't you find a job? That was a famous line. Freddie, find a decent job. Famous <laughs> Find a decent, not only a job, find a decent one. Get a job at police, 100% sure. Uh, gets on the phone with the boss, negative. You want to threaten me? It's a good no question. My commander will help you. And yeah, that, that was it. Uh, yeah, good job, Eli, though. If that was all from your head, just slow it down, spread it more. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in half an hour, more role play uh, with Douglas. Lecture, Eugene. lecture, lecture, and role play toward the end, hopefully. Um, try to get both, both done. 30 minutes. Yeah, man. See you guys there, if you can make it. See you, buddy. Thank you guys for coming. Good job, Ilya. Good job, Freddy. I mean, yeah. fantastic job. So much explored. I mean, a lot of feedback. So let's see how you're going to improve in the next week and then the following one. And yeah, next week. Yeah, that. we'll do the feedback part faster. Uh, hopefully, Costa joins and gets in there as a negotiator uh, next Saturday. Uh, YouTube guy was supposed to be here today. I think he chickened out. He did a YouTube video. Um, Black Swan group and said he was going to be here and don't lie to anybody you don't plan on killing. That's right. <laughs> so, he so lost he got... me at Batna. Oh, he's doing the Batna. <laughs> he lost me at Batna. <laughs> yeah, that should be on his shirt. Yeah. <laughs> he lost ah. me at Batna. <laughs> <laughs> I want pie, but I don't want to split that kind of pie. <laughs> no. Uh, Florin, man, uh, you, you got anything else, man? Uh, come on. Closes up no, with some no, some hard good. humor. <laughs> I just want to see him dance like a, a floppy chicken again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll try to find the dance I was telling you. <laughs> it's like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Oh man. <laughs> Costa, yeah, Costa went crazy with that one. You see a big Quentin Tarantino fan? No, but I know <laughs> what you mean. Oh, but you knew what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I almost I felt like... Uh, what, Florian? No, no, sorry, nothing. No, no say it, come on. Oh, no, no, I said, all right, I, I thought you were going to say goodbye or something like that. No, 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 I got... I was, I was dying. I was hoping there's more gold in there. No, nah, Ilya is the is the miner here. <laughs> Having <laughs> all the gold, he didn't got the gold and. <laughs> oh, uh, did a good job, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. I I don't think I'll ever hear that again. I think we just witnessed something in history, and you know what? To shock me the most, uh, oh, Freddie's gone. I, I'm shocked he uh, cooperated. Uh, yeah, I think Eli was making a point, man, that he's not really acting like a hostage taker. He's like a normal person. Yeah, like uh, most hostage takers are normal people that, you know, uh, was it nature and nurture? They were nurtured the wrong way, uh, but their nature is probably good. You know, the guy has a kid. He wants to take care of him. Yeah, he's things to look forward to. Oh man, but that's good, man. It's gonna it helps me out when I'm communicating. I'm gonna just be like, don't uh, don't give suggestions. Uh, yeah, I think that's what messed you up. You were you're trying to give them a 
a job, trying to give them pizza, try to give them a car. But you did good in the beginning from not spilling beans. But then, like, you started, like, and, and then you got them on the phone with your boss. Like, it's, it's not a, it's typically not good. Maybe next week. Uh, yeah, next week is uh, Hitchcock. <laughs> <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> hey, uh, do, do you know what's still uh, the Douglas and Florian? You know, I'm still thinking about yesterday uh, when when somebody used the NEPQ question mm. and people noticed it. Yeah, that that was fascinating. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad for NEPQ. What I mean, obviously, it's good. The guy's making a lot of money. What was the what question? Is, what is an NPQ question? Uh, so this sales guy that uh, Eugene is training with um, and that we follow because he uses mainly no oriented questions, dynamic silence, tone uh, to become like one of the top salespeople making a million, two million a year in just commissions. And so for him, he uses a lot of calibrated questions. Um, and again, a lot of dynamic silence, the tone. Um, and somebody used one of those calibrated questions. Yeah, showed him drop one. I don't figure. remember exactly what he said. Yeah, it was him. He dropped yeah. one. Um, I'm sure I wrote it down. Because that, that did stick with me. As an NPQ question. I mean, it, it must be working if it, uh, fought, out of all the questions, one of them fell out of place. Yeah, like it really, it's places in sales. Yeah. Everything's selling. Yeah, I think it'd be fun if we practice some of those more. That, that would be fun. Damn, I'm looking through my notes. Yeah, I was really, really <clears throat> impressed. Yeah, he killed it yesterday. You, you know what his one downfall is, right? For Shodan? Mm. If you're watching the Shodan, you know it, we know it. You got yourself a voice coach. Because <laughs> uh, you can only do late FN DJ. It's hard for him to do playful. At least Eli, like, I can see him go from serious to playful. And you can drop it back to serious. That's really probably more impactful than the questions. Like at the end of the day, uh, Freddie got, he didn't hurt anybody. He came out like it worked. Uh, it was good to see that even if, if you have Mr. Bean reading these questions and not even listening and interrupting and kind of like giving solutions. You can still walk out winning. I think that's deep. What are you going to do with these skills, Eli? Like, you can really make something with them. They're literally in your head. Like, you, you said you weren't reading anything. <laughs> it's like a superpower. What are you, you doing? You asked me a tough question. I mean, it's a fair question. I don't question. know how to answer you. What are you going to do with it? You can be a. You can be what a should I do with them? You can do. A, you can do a divorce mediator. Divorce. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. Yeah, uh, divorce mediators. I see them a lot in these practice groups. Okay. For them, it's very applicable. You, you can be a divorce mediator easily. It sounds interesting. <laughs> Costa, what are you going to do with the tools? Oh, I I try to use them from time to time. Tomorrow I have a, I have my seminar. It's about a tri tri treason, a tra a traitor in, well, about being a traitor or having a traitor in your life. And uh, ah. this is the discussion for tomorrow. Okay. And I have oh. a lot to do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. it's an oh topic. 
Yeah. Because traitors, if you are a traitor, you 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 are not worth to be forgiven, even from you, if you are a traitor. And if somebody has uh, traded you, so it, it will you will be, be crazy to forgive you because you have to. Uh, you are in danger. You may the happen again. So you understand it. I want to uh, tell you something crazy about that. There is a a study done for computer programming algorithms. They mm -hmm. wanted the best algorithm for um, handling like issues with people, mm -hmm. like behavior things. Mm -hmm. And everybody submitted many algorithms. Uh, the ones that kind of work good, like the ones where an eye for an eye. So if you do bad, um, if the counterpart does bad, then you do bad, you hit them back. And then if they do bad again, you hit them back. It doesn't really work because it becomes too too abrasive and then the other one was you just keep turning your cheek the other way uh, but that also is not good because then the counterpart just they just keep going indefinitely uh, the, <laughs> the best method was um you know nine times the counterpart slaps slaps you betrays you or whatever uh and then you have to hit back at one point at the 10th and so that's what I've been working on is uh, when I, I, if I get betrayed, I, I'll let it, hey, I'll turn the cheek, betray again. All right, I'll turn the cheek. All right, uh, it's been enough times. I'm going to hit back. Uh, but I've noticed that now I'm closer to like two to three. <laughs> I don't think I can turn my cheek the other way more than like four or five times. No. I remember it being... Sorry to interrupt. I remember yeah, no, reading sure. that, uh, kind of a similar study was about uh, reciprocity, if I'm not wrong. And they simulate something like uh, if I'm if I do well and the other person is doing well, I'm earning five dollars. If I do bad and the other uh, person do well, I win one hundred. If I do bad and the other person do bad as well, is one dollar something like that. Can't remember exactly, but you got the idea. The the free version of this uh, of this equation. And if I'm doing well all the time, I'm losing money all the time because the other person might take it randomly. Bad, good, bad, good. I'm losing money. If I'm doing bad all the time, I'm losing money again on the long term. The best, the best uh, part was to copy uh, my uh, my adversary or how you call it, the other side uh, action. So if you do bad, or I'll do bad. If you do good, I'll do good, and so on. Uh, copy the last move of your opponent or of the other side. And even if the stake was five dollars on the long term, that was the winning uh, the winning thing and was winning just because involved uh, forgiveness. I mean, if you do me bad this time and next time you do me well, I'll do well again, and that uh, involves forgiveness. Yeah, uh, that's, it's kind of what we talked about, like uh, beat your sense. triggers. Yeah, I mean, like um, got it. If uh, if someone triggers you, let's say betrayal. All right, Costa. Let's say betrayal is your trigger. If somebody betrays you, you get angry. Uh, for someone else, the other day it was lying. If somebody lies to me, I get really triggered. And so. Yeah, you got to be aware, like somebody lies to you or betrays you once, you know, that's fine. Hey, I forgive you. That's okay. Uh, you made a mistake. And though, and then they do something good, then you do something good for them. They do something bad, you do something bad. So you're in a symbiotic relationship. And if they break that rhythm, hey, you got to, you got to let them know. Well, you, you give them maybe another chance. That's two times. But I think after, yeah, after like three or four, if they 
you, you got to eventually punish them, cut them off or something, or else they'll just keep abusing. Yeah, balanced in a way. Uh, I have other ideas. What's your idea on that? Yeah, your idea is eye for an eye? There's a way, it's called Ho'oponopono. It's a Hawaiian tactic. Anybody knows it? No, what is it? Yeah, it's about... Have you heard of it? Huh? I think I've heard of it. What is it? Uh, it's a Hawaiian tactic. It is, it is uh, generally, it says that you cannot forgive anybody ever, for, forever. It is impossible to forgive. Because if you if you forgive somebody, then you have judged him. You have ta- you are you get you have taken him to, to court. You have you have judged him. You have decided that he is guilty, and uh, because you are so very good person, you <laughs> you say okay, I I forgive you, but you own me. You understand. But this is not yeah. forgiveness. This is stupid stuff. It doesn't go into work for you. You will never forgive this way. Whatever you say, you will not forgive. The point of the Hoponopono is to be the one that is uh, responsible, the only one. So you have to say, that I'm, that doesn't, you don't need to say to the other person, but deal with yourself and say that I am the only responsible for, the, for this to happen. This is, this is all the Hoponopono thing. I am the only responsible. You don't have to do anything. That was my responsibility. Only I am to blame. Finish. Don't say to the other person. Then say to yeah. yourself in the mirror. That's, you that's turning the cheek. Basically, not exactly because you don't tell to the other one. If you still feel it, you still feel it. No, it's it's uh, it's uh, crazy freedom. It is counterintuitive. It is not uh, intuitive. It's counterintuitive, and uh, you feel crazy free. What do you think, Florin? Uh, I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around it. Uh, it's about uh, I forgot the word. I just had it in mind a second ago. Oh, what the fuck is it? Uh, basically, I'm aware, and if you fail me, you fail me because I was an idiot. Yeah. I, I let you fail me. Right. Make yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah, stoic accountability. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But, there, that, but there has to be a limit, right? Like, if I, I catch myself that- saying this... I don't have any expectation from anyone, basically. Yeah. If I don't have any expe- expectation, I don't expect you to do anything. You know what you're going to yeah. become? You're going to become my doormat. You're going to become my doormat. I'm going to abuse you. I'm going to take advantage of you. If I know I'm not, you're not ever going to. You're always going to take it as your fault. You're always going to take it as your fault. This. Yeah. How would you? How would you put a stop to it if the person keeps? disrespecting you and you got to keep taking accountability well he disrespected me because i probably looked at him the wrong way yesterday oh he he ate my food today because probably um i must have drank some of his water yesterday i have to make more research about this i'm not completely sure if i'm right uh, well cost of the expert yeah what what's your uh, take on that if, if you have a, a certain thing you, you can be but it's easy you say, I, uh, what I say, and, uh, I say it to spiritual people, it's very fun because they don't like it. I say, I, 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 it's my fault. I should take a, a big uh, hammer. It's one uh, meter. Uh, the, the top of it is one meter at one meter at one meter. It's a cube, which, uh, of course, uh, weight 6.8 tones and I put put it and give you to, to this way and so make you a a large uh, how do you call it? in the I put you all in the floor you see before this happened not after because after is revenge after happened it is revenge it doesn't help oh it you're you're saying prepare to yes. prevent 
yes, I would, I could do this, which is ridiculous, of course. Okay, that button. Yeah, but <laughs> have you ever, have you ever been blindsided? Blindsided? When you don't see it coming? I remember a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, and and then you gotta, and then you gotta take a kind of see. Like, I would probably figure out that oh, he's preparing. Uh, so maybe if I blindsight him, catch him off guard over and over and over, he'll just keep taking the accountability. It's not the, that problem. The problem is that if somebody has happened to him, it it's it, he tortures his, uh, himself for uh, many years for not for, for giving. You know, <laughs> forgiveness is a gift to yourself. It's not a gift to the other. Yeah, no, that's, um, look, my point is, uh, I don't care how cold it sounds. Uh, yeah, after a certain amount of times, probably two to three, I'm just going to. Just not going to tolerate them. Just not going to deal with it. I message. No problem. No problem. By, by tolerate. You cannot. No, I message. Be like, that's it. Yes. yes. There's no problem with this. The problem is in keeping people. This I think. For I years. think. I think there's more bad people out there than good. And what I like negotiations is, you get to pretend for a for ten minutes that they're good, and that really does help when you're interacting with people. It's all right. You know what? I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. You're a good person. But then if they uh, take your credit card info or something, you know, betray your trust. All right. I'll take some accountability. I didn't read you right. You fooled me. All right. I'll get better at body language. I'll get better at at this and that. I'll take some accountability. Um, and if I, you know, I let them back in, turn the cheek and I say, come hang out again. And now he takes my daughter's piggy bank. All right, you know what? It's my fault. The guy doesn't have money, and I, I had money in display. So it's my fault, you know? Take some more. Here's some more money. Turn my cheek the other way. I take accountability. Man, that's just dumb after, like, four times. Like, you know what? This dude is clearly a bad person. Uh, he gets near me. You know, it's you gonna be bad. Hit him with a with hammer. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You have to get, try to take. Kind of, there's some people that will test you. They'll. Uh, what do you? What do you? What do you think, Eli? You, you read a lot. What do you think? That's, huh? Yeah. I'll see ya. See ya. Thanks. Yeah. Nice job. Sorry, did you ask me something? No. Uh, what did you think of what Costa said? I like it. Uh, Don't get triggered. Uh, I didn't hear Take... uh, Costa clearly, so pretty much uh, I lost my focus. Really. Don't get triggered if somebody if somebody gets you angry. Like, were you getting angry that the guy didn't have a job? You there? Oh, I don't know. Uh, all right well you're guys, to, to yeah but it's okay I gotta, again? Sorry, sorry, I gotta go again? no yeah, uh just mention something uh, uh guilt has something to do with negotiations and that is that if you are guilty about something you are not going to go far away with if you feel triggered uh -huh. guilty, yeah. guilty, guilty. If you are guilty, yeah the point guilty. is not to be triggered. it's still a trigger yeah. it's still okay. guilt still a trigger uh sometimes oh, it's a special yeah. trigger okay. yeah it you, is you cannot be very good at, at something that you are feel guilty about you yeah understand? man I'm, I'm always watching out my guilt triggers uh sometimes. yes yes if you are guilty you cannot confront